Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you on behalf of Honorable Prime Minister, Rear Admiral Frank Bani Brahma, the government of Fiji, and every Fijian of a beloved nation to foremost welcome all our friends from Australia and our officials and stakeholders from the Australian Quality Education Program together with dignitaries and official guests. Someone has said it right that it's not about leaving, it's about leaving a legacy behind, unquote. Ladies and gentlemen, the official handover ceremony that we are all part of this afternoon has culminated after years of hard work, dedication and extreme commitment from the Australian Government's Quality Education Programme in Fiji. The vision to assist educational development in Fiji we started way off in August 2011 through partnership with the Ministry of Education, Heritage and Arts has blossomed into rewarding outcomes. I kept relentless support and assistance to individuals, particularly children, families, communities, formal sector organizations, districts, provinces, and the Fijian society at large has stood the test of time and come out on top. I quote my greatest commendation to ACAP for the work it has done in Fiji during the past six years. The Australian government has time and again collaborated with us in supporting our national interests and development needs. The Bainimarama government is grateful for this culture of friendship and support which has existed between Fiji and Australia for years. Our special tie reflects the understanding and respect we have for each other, which is clearly evident through support programs such as the one through ACAP. The Australian government has always been in the front line in times of our nation's need, and we are fortunate to have such neighbours. Ladies and gentlemen, Fijians in every corner of Fiji are currently enjoying educational accessibility and delivery of the highest quality. The government of the day, since day one, has put its number one priority to create a knowledge-based society, and the key to which is to ensure that every Fijian are given opportunities to educate and train themselves for successful career enhancements. These opportunities have eliminated any forms of discrimination that existed before in terms of gender, status, ethnicity, geographical location, religion, disability, or any form of unequal treatment. Our educational aspirations are built on fundamentals of quality, equitable and just practices. However, to achieve this, along the way, we have partnered with some key stakeholders who share similar efforts of our education. ACAP has such has been one of our key partners in delivering quality education for change, peace and progress. The statistical data on educational intervention through various programs and schemes by ACAP is a testimony of the level of effectiveness, efficiency and flexibility it worked with when saving children, in particular the disadvantaged children in Fiji. Since 2011, ACAP has rendered its assistance to 222 schools all over Fiji. The striking feature of this support scheme has been the concentration of schools that ACAP has assisted. 79% of the schools supported by ACAP has been either in the very remote areas, remote areas or in the rural areas. This signifies that ACAP purposely chose to ignore the difficulty factor for them and took the challenges ahead on to reach out to children and communities who on the periphery could have been ignored or forgotten. This speaks volumes of the character of these program facilitators and their commitment to the purposefulness of the obligation which they carved out to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, I will fail if I do not single out the effort of the Australian government in ACAP after tropical cyclone Winston. We face a grave setback at the beginning of 2016 because Cyclone Winston destroyed several schools and left communities and families in shutters. In some areas we had to start building from scratch as nothing has been left to be used again. However, we did not panic because the government knew that we have our friends and well-wishers who were ready to rebuild with us. I kept without a shadow of doubt to toll and have been active partners with us and the government of Fiji in the reconstruction and rehabilitation phase. I again thank the Australian government for this wonderful cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, another of the greatest achievements of education in Fiji has been the inclusive education approach. 
This is a flagship program that we have. This is where disabled children are given all opportunities to learn in normal schools and be seen and treated as normal children and to concentrate on the ability rather than on the disability. After piloting this project with ICAP, we are overwhelmed with the emotional tales of children and their parents who have been inspired with such inclusion and culture of acceptance that was missing in their lives before. With this program, we have also been able to reach out to communities and families to foster a culture of acceptance and respect the talents and skills of the special needs children. The partnership of Ministry of Education, Heritage and Arts and ICAP has brought smiles to children who could not access the learning environment before. This, ladies and gentlemen, was another defining moment of our education system, a paradigm shift amongst our people with regard to ensuring that education is accessible to all and is for all. Similarly, ICAP has also partnered with our ministry on a number of very critical initiations which has benefited children all over Fiji. From the development and maintenance of Fiji education management information systems, commonly known as FEMIS, to procurement of industrial printing equipment to support the government's initiative of providing free textbooks, to the training of teachers in literacy and numeracy, ICAP has spearheaded other schemes which has assisted to set higher benchmarks of education deliverance in Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, there are other ministries who are looking at Ministry of Education as a benchmark. Thanks to ICAP for assisting us to continuously lift our benchmark. Ladies and gentlemen, our ever-growing Fijian education system is a pride of the region as well. We have and will continue to invest heavily into the education of Fijians or ordinary Fijians. In the past few years, we have tapped into all those areas of education who were neglected in the past. We have transformed the early childhood education program and made it suitable to the needs of the current blend of students. Ladies and gentlemen, our curriculum and structures at primary and secondary school have been realigned and made robust to reflect the demands of the present day needs of children. We are injecting a lot of resources to develop the special needs education sector, ensuring that the primary vision that these children have for equal opportunities to education are realized. We have engineered schemes and programs to ensure that our parents and children do not have to shoulder financial obligations to attain education. We have tackled the trade sector vacuum full on, and our technical colleges, college campuses are now shaping top tradespeople in various areas. The current education system strives to reach out to communities who had missed on their chances for qualification and has brought them back to the education fold. We have fronted campaigns and programs to ensure that no child is left behind in the education drive, in our education drive. Our investment has equally reached out to the interior and maritime zones as it has reached the urban areas. We have eased the trouble woes of people in the island zones and interior areas and attain high levels of parental engagement in education. And we are proud to announce that ACAP has been with us as a solid unit offering their support and assistance wherever and whenever we need it. Ladies and gentlemen, I can continue to talk about ACAP and its work because of the long list of success it has enjoyed with us in Fiji. However, I intend to sum it up, sum it up by saying that strong partnerships are the backbone for successful education systems, and we had the pleasure of working with one such partnership for the last six years. Strong partnerships also allow us to open ourselves up to external thinking, external knowledge out there, and time-tested knowledge out there. I'm sure the Australian government will evaluate the success of ACAP and re-engage with us in the near future, as alluded to by Her Excellency. I once again thank the Australian government for the ACAP, for the access to quality education program. Our communities out there will always cherish your contributions for equal opportunity for all by assisting us in strengthening our education system. Thank you, Naka and Dhanwar.